Hello everyone, welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video, hit the thumbs down if you don't, and please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. So for today, we'll be taking a look at Weavile and Zebstrika from the Chilling Rain set. Let's first talk about Weavile. Weavile is a stage 1 rapid strike Pokemon. It has 110 HP with 1 retreat cost and is weak to metal. It has 2 attacks. The first attack is 2 hit KO. It's a very interesting attack and it will be our focus on this Weavile. For just one colorless energy, during your next turn, if the defending Pokemon is damaged by an attack from a Rapid Strike Pokemon, it will be knocked out. This attack can be quite powerful, however, there are a few things that makes this a bit hard to work with. First of all, Weavile is stuck in the active defenseless after using this attack, so most likely it will get knocked out on your opponent's turn. And second, you must attack the defending Pokemon by a Rapid Strike Pokemon. It doesn't matter which one, as long as any Rapid Strike Pokemon deals an attack damage, the defending Pokemon will get knocked out. This attack can be quite challenging to pull off since your opponent can simply just retreat or switch the defending Pokemon and by doing so, Weavile's 2 hit KO effect will be removed. One way we can prevent our opponent from retreating though is by using the Galar Mine Stadium, which increases the retreat cost of both active Pokemon by 2 so it will be a lot harder for our opponent's Pokemon to retreat. This will make it more likely for us to knock out our target on our next turn. But since we're also affected by the stadium, we are running a full set of Switch and two copies of Bird Keeper so we will be able to switch out and attack with a Rapid Strike Pokemon for a guaranteed knockout. And I'm also using a full set of Crushing Hammer. You flip a coin and if it's heads, you can discard any one energy from your opponent's Pokemon. This is great for slowing down our opponent's energy acceleration which can possibly prevent them from attacking or even knocking out our Weavile especially it has such a low HP. Weavile also has a second attack which could be very useful for setup if you need it. For one water energy, Nasty Plot allows you to search your deck for up to two cards, any card you want, and put them into your hand. We are not using any water energy in this deck. However, we are using a full set of Rapid Strike Energy which acts as a combination of 2 Water and or Fighting Energy. So if we really need to use this attack, we can use the Rapid Strike Energy to energize this attack. However, having just these two attacks, Weavile doesn't have any attack that can damage your opponent's active Pokemon. After using its 2 hit KO attack, you will most likely have to switch with another Rapid Strike Pokemon to attack in order for the 2 hit knockout to take effect. There is a way for Weavile to actually attack though and do damage and this is with the help of Rapid Strike Scroll of the Skies which is also new in the Chilling Rain set. It allows your Rapid Strike Pokemon to use the attack Grav Drop. For 1 Lightning Energy and 1 Colorless, it will do 10 plus damage and an additional 50 more for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. And we are using mostly Lightning Energy in this deck so we can fulfill this attack cost easily. For just two energies though, this attack can be very powerful. So it becomes possible for you to attack with Weavile using the two hit KO on one turn and on the following turn, the same Weavile, which is a Rapid Strike Pokemon, can also attack using the Scroll of Skies to deal damage and in effect will knock out the defending Pokemon. In this build however, Weavile is not alone. Zebstrika actually synergizes perfectly with Weavile. Zebstrika is a stage 1 Rapid Strike Pokemon. It has 120 HP with 1 retreat cost and is weak to fighting. It has 2 attacks. The first one is Coordinated Bolt. For just 1 colorless energy, it will deal 30 plus damage. And if one of your other, which is the keyword here, your other Rapid Strike Pokemon used an attack during your last turn, this attack does 90 more damage. That's a total of 120 damage for just 1 energy, which is pretty good. There are a few things to keep in mind with this attack though. For example, if Weavile uses any of its attack from your last turn, even if it doesn't deal any damage, it is still considered an attack, so it will fulfill the requirement on Zebstrika's coordinated bolt attack to deal that extra 90 damage. Or if you have multiple Zebstrikas in play, you can just switch between them each turn and technically you can continually hit for 120 damage. Or if you attack with Blitzel last turn, and then you evolved it into Zebstrika on your next turn. Its coordinated bolt attack will deal 120 damage because technically Blitzel is a different Rapid Strike Pokemon. But if you happen to be in a situation where you're not able to switch back and forth with a different Rapid Strike attacker, you can also use its second attack, Spark Rush. 
For one lightning and two colorless energy, you can flip a coin until you get tails. This attack does 90 damage times each heads you got from your coin flips. I gotta say this attack is not always reliable because you do rely on a coin flip and you can end up flipping tails on your very first coin flip. But when you do succeed, this attack can be powerful too. The combo between Weavile and Zebstrika is really good. First off, you can really put some pressure on your opponent with the help of Weavile's 2 hit KO attack and your opponent will always panic and will try to figure out a way to get their defending Pokemon out of the active, otherwise they get knocked out the next turn. Either way, you can complete the combo with Blitzel, Zebstrika, or even Weavile for a knockout if your opponent's active could not retreat, or just hit for 120 damage using Zebstrika. As for consistency, I am using two copies of Gormandai's Snorlax. While its ability ends your turn, you can draw cards until you have seven in your hand. I also have Cricketune V for its exciting stage ability, which allows you to draw cards until you have three in your hand, or draw four cards if Cricketune is on the active. And I'm also using Mew for its bench barrier ability. As for the other cards worth mentioning, I have Viridian Forest specifically for finding our lightning energy because we are only using 6 lightning energy on this build. Next is Boss's Orders. And I also have Clara. This is a really good card for this deck because Zebstrika and Weavile have really low HP and they get knocked out easily but with Clara, you can just get 2 Pokemon and or 2 basic energy from the discard pile back to your hand enabling you to set up your next attacker easily for the following turn. I also have Marnie and finally Professor's Research. And that's pretty much it, my deck list will be in the description below but enough talk, let's see how this build works. Alright, cool, we go first. And it looks like for basic we could uh, put Blitzel in the active. Uh, Mew, we can hold off on that for now. Although they are using Passimian, so I think it is safe to say that we can use that. And I'm just gonna attach an energy on Blitzel. We can attack as uh, early as on our next turn. Uh, we also have a quick ball, probably need to set up. Um, Another Blitzel, maybe. Although they are using um, V and V Max, I think Weavile would be good to set up here. So let's evolve first, and I think I'm gonna put the Rapid Strike energy on Zubstrika so we can attack. I'm gonna get a Cricketune V with a Quick Ball. We can draw three cards. We can play the uh, Galar Mine. Exciting stage for two cards. And we get a Hammer. Can probably use this nice that will um, delay their uh, Pokemon from attacking we already have one Zebstrika so I think I'm gonna get rid of one energy using this quick ball so I can set up another Zebstrika line and I'm just gonna use Spark Rush and that's the thing with Spark Rush um, it is very dependent on RNG and just like that when you get tails uh, you do waste the move uh, when you use that, although it's the only one that can um, hit for a lot of damage if you do get the heads on your coin flip. But that actually sets us up for the next Zub Striker. All we need, okay, we get an evolution incense from their Marnie. So we can actually switch out and hit 420 to knock out this uh, Passimian. So let's just go ahead and evolve into Zub Striker using evolution incense. Put the uh, scroll of skies, put an energy, use the hammer. It's <laughs> nice. At least we're getting heads on the hammers. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and switch out. We can hit 420. Coordinated bolt, knocking out this Passimian. And we get a switch for the price card. Um, Zero ROV, I do, it's not so much of a threat in my opinion. Um, it's good when your opponent doesn't have any um, bench defense like Mew. Unfortunately for, for them, we have a Mew. And we don't have to worry about that 160 damage hitting our bench anytime soon. And the uh, attack of Zero RV to the active only hits for 100 damage. So we don't even have to worry about uh, any of our Pokemon getting knocked out with Zero RV. So... 
Um, it's good for bench damage. Maybe when uh, <laughs> now we get another heads on that hammer, dude. That's a broken card. Okay, we attach another energy. Cricketoon, and then let's use Bird Keeper to switch out. We can hit 420 here, and we can set set up a Weavile. I'm gonna coordinate it both 420, and all we have to do is switch out. Then we can knock out the Zero RV. Yeah, but um, uh, post rotation when Mew is no longer uh, usable, unless they have another Pokemon that can replace uh, Mew for the bench barrier, um, Zero RV is not really a threat to a single prizer. Uh, Pokemon builds because it only hits for a hundred to the active so uh, so far I haven't um, I'm me personally I'm not intimidated so much with the uh, zero RV Blazik and VMAX uh, deck builds um, I haven't had a hard time uh, competing against uh, this type of build um, I don't know if it's the opponent that I'm facing against but so far um, I think we have, I think we have a uh, a chance to win against this matchup. Uh, although Blaziken V Max does hit for 130, so it will knock out um, our most of majority of our um, Pokemon with just one hit using the Rapid Strike energy. So they have a way to bump out our. Galar Mine, although we can use that against them because now we can we have free retreats as well because we are using Rapid Strike Pokemon. Alright, so they give it to us. They don't have any way to attack just yet. Go ahead and retreat for free. Uh, put the Rapid Strike Energy on um, on Sneasel and I'm just going to coordinate it both for knocking out the Zero or V. Not too bad. We get two prizes for that. So we got Blitzel and a Scroll of Skies. Nice. But now they can use, um, yeah, Octillery to get their Blaziken V Max. Now they can start knocking out our Pokemon for just one hit. They're gonna Marnie. So I, we still have one Galar Mine in the deck. I am. Um, See, that's the thing with uh, this this build. Uh, Zipstrika doesn't really hit for much. It only hits for 120 with the um, uh, coordinated bolt. Although, you only use one colorless energy. So, that's... You know, it's cheap for 120. But it doesn't really KO a lot of the bulkier um, uh, Pokemon. So, in these types of matchups, it is... It is um, up to Weavile to do the job, but getting the right components is uh, is very difficult sometimes. Although we have Hammer. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's get rid of that. Um, let's get a uh, Weavile. And then we can evolve. And then all we have to do, really, we still have one Galar Mine. That's just uh, Ordinary Rod. Let's see. We can get both energies so let's get a Zebstrika line back to the deck and two energies back to the deck and then we can use exciting stage for two draws we get another blitzel which is good and i think i mean if we hit this blazik and vmax they can just retreat with it um i mean uh, let's see. I'm just going to retreat into Snorlax and just Gormandize. Because, um, ooh, we get Gellarmine. Nice. So uh, we could do that. We could just, uh, on our next turn, we can uh, trap their VMAX. And that's going to win us the game if they don't have anything to remove our Gellarmine. So we can trap them. Uh, most likely, they're just going to attack with Blaziken VMAX because... 
their Zero RV really is useless in this uh, matchup because they it really can't knock out any of our Pokemon anyways. Even Weavile, it has 110 HP, so it'll survive with 10 HP against the Zero Aura. So um, I think that's their game plan is to just use Blaziken and VMAX to keep attacking. But that's going to be their downfall because they're probably going to attack our Snorlax. Okay. Or our Zip Strike. Okay, that's fine. That is all right. Uh, we have another Zip Striker anyways to evolve into. So we can definitely still um, take advantage of that. Because uh, Weavile can't attack unless we have the scrolls. And uh, we do need Zip Striker to attack. Or even Blitzel to knock out. So let's use Galar Mine here. Hopefully they don't have another... Because um, they have already used two. Tower of Water, so let's go ahead and two hit KO. And I don't believe they have any, um, unless they have another. No, we already discarded one, so they have all of the. Oh, dude, they have <laughs> another Tower of Waters. What? Come on. I thought I discarded their um, their energy. How do they have so much? Anyways. It is what it is. What? They're just gonna attack? Oh, big mistake. Do they not know what's about to happen? <laughs> Do they not know what's about to happen? What? <laughs> Alright, they get a prize for that. That's fine. I don't know what's going on. Oh, well played. Here it is. Zeb Strika for the win. Coordinated bolt. And knocking out this Blaziken VMAX. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Thank you for uh, giving up that match. Alright. Another win for the coin flip. Let's move on to this next match. So we'll put Snorlax in the active. We got Cricket Tune B. So we are, we have all the drying Pokemons on uh, in play already, which is good. Um, this is not good though in that we don't have a lot of Pokemon for setup. We can thin out the deck by use getting um, Zeb Striker with the Evolution Incense, and with the Gorman Dice we get another Zeb Striker. Unfortunately, it's kind of difficult our hand because. If we use Professor's Research, we lose a lot of good cards in our hand. Which we might just have to do. Because we can't use Gorman Dice anymore. We have seven cards in our hand already. So. Um, okay. Uh, it looks like we're up against Inteleon slash Decidueye deck. I've been seeing a lot of the uh, videos with this. Fortunately, we got Tails on that hammer. And I, I think I just have to do Professor's Research here because our hand is just not looking good. We have Pokemon Communication. Can get Blitzel out of that. Finally set that up. And um, put an energy. We got another hammer. Nice. So that can delay us one turn. So the Inteleon Decidueye deck doesn't really have much, um, it doesn't really have a lot of uh, good energy accelerating, acceleration. So even um, taking out one energy can delay a turn. So it prevents them from attacking for one turn. So that was a good, um, that was a good coin flip on our hammer. So they give it to us again. We have another Blitzel to set up. Uh, probably put another energy on Blitzel. We do have... We can probably reserve Clara for later. So we have... We can get rid of that one energy. And Mew is good here because... And uh, we're just going to use Clara to get these two Zub Strike us in one energy. Yeah, so Decidueye will hit the bench, so Mew has to be set up right away. 
And for single striker um, decks like this, a Zib Striker combo is really good. When you switch between uh, multiple Zib Strikers, you can hit for 120 each turn. And I think that's the best uh, option we have right here. Are they gonna Marnie us though? And um, Intellion is weak against Lightning, so we do have an upper hand on that one. It's the Sijui we gotta worry about. Um, I have been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube regarding the, uh, I guess the deck list that won a tournament in Japan using Inteleon and Decidueye. So, very interesting deck. So let's go ahead and use Bird Keeper, switch into Zebstrika. We can um, use its uh, coordinated bolt for 30, but since um, Sobble is weak against Lightning, we can actually knock it out for 60. So let's just go ahead and attack. We get one free prize card off of that. And that will start our our combo starting next turn. Snorlax has 130 HP, so we won't be able to knock it out with Zipstrika. I'm actually thinking of adding a Vitality Band in this deck, but uh, as it is, it's actually pretty full, the deck list, so I'm not sure if I even have room for a Vitality Band. But for how it is right now, I think it's working out pretty good. Uh, so Rosa can only get basic, not Oh no no, it can get any Pokemon. So they can get Rare Candy and Decidueye in an energy. They can fully evolve into a Decidueye right away. Uh, this deck I almost gave up on actually. Um, it makes such a good combo, but after playing for some days, it's just so hard to win with it, but uh, with this current build that I have, it's been very uh, consistent and, and I'm pretty happy with it. I've been winning a lot of games with this setup, so I I would recommend this this setup for for sure. So, uh, Zipstrika and Weavile do make a good, um, they do synergize well. I'm just going to Marnie here. We have a Galar Mine, which is good, prevent them from retreating. And I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to Spark Crush here. Uh, unfortunately, we get Tails. We could, uh, we don't have Zip Strike, uh, so we couldn't use Coordinated Bolt twice in a row. Um, and it's not going to hit for an extra 90 damage because it's not a different Rapid Strike Pokemon. So Spark Rush, um, it has worked a few times in some of my other games. Um, so it, it it really varies on your RNG, but it does work. You can hit for like, so 90 times each heads. So you can hit for 180 if you get two heads in a row. And 250, right? 270? 270 for three heads, so. I'm just gonna spark rush here. Unfortunately, we don't get anything. Uh, I'm just gonna keep trying, I guess. Decidueye can hit for 90, so Zebstrika will survive. Um, we have Pokemon Communication, so we could hit for Coordinated Bolt on our next turn. Even though we can't knock out Decidueye, at least it'll uh, leave a huge dent on it. So I think that's what I'm just gonna do. Cause it, it's a guaranteed 120 damage against the Decidueye. Oh, but they're gonna boss this order probably Mew. Yeah, cause that 20 chip damage on the bench does matter. And I think uh, that's what they're planning to do. They're gonna scoop up net their um, Drizzile that they can get their trainer card on their next turn. They're just gonna splitting arrow, knocking out our Mew, but our bench is still protected as of right now. So that will be good. But that just means we have to really um, hurry up and knock out this Decidueye. We get another um, Sneasel. Um, hmm. You know what? I should have just Pokemon Communication that one, actually. Um, that's fine. I'm just going to Spark Crush here. Dude, 
<laughs> there it is. Hey, when it works, it works, right? <laughs> Unbelievable. So we got a knockout on that Decidueye. Yeah, if we get one heads, it's going to hit for 90. And it's not going to be enough to knock out Decidueye. So um, flipping for those two heads is really great. And that really helps us not get knocked out. <laughs> because... Uh, the CGI will hit for 90 each turn. So that, that will spare us a few turns um, of survivability. Um, especially our bench is now vulnerable. We don't have Mew anymore. We do have a hammer, so we could probably slow them down. Um, but again, we have to flip for, for a coin with that one. But Zip's right can be very powerful, man. Um, yeah, if you get three heads in a row, that's 270 uh, damage. Uh, that's basically um, a knockout for a lot of the tag team GX. ADP, not, not really, because it, it has 180, so it's 10, 10, one, uh, one damage counter short. And here it is. Well, we got two hammers. What do you think? We could probably uh, disarm them all the way. We get two heads here. Ooh, we got one. So let's get rid of that grass energy. Maybe they don't have any. Oh, we don't get the second one. Um, let's see. This is a little bit of a predicament. I feel like I need the professor's research. Um, but let me just switch out into Sneasel right now. Ooh, we got Weavile. Sweet. Actually, we have Galar Mine, so they can't retreat. Uh, what I could do is just attach an energy to hit KO, and we could just knock out this Decidueye uh, for a next turn, for our next turn. So, I mean, if they have Switch, because Decidueye decks do use a lot of Bird Keepers. So if they have that, they have a way to uh, retreat. But if they don't, uh, this Decidueye is going to be stuck in the active. And uh, all we have to do is retreat. I mean, we have the Rapid Strike Energy. Could we could probably attach it on Weavile so that we can retreat and then knock out this uh, Decidueye. Because right now, that's the biggest threat. It's the only one. It's the uh, only attacker right now. Although Inteleon is... Um, is able to uh, use its ability to do uh, two damage counters on one of our Pokemon. So in the long run, uh, it's going to be very detrimental, especially our other Substrika has 90 damage on it already. So they're just slowly chipping away at our, uh, our Pokemon. And we could slowly just give up price cards off of that one Inteleon. Uh, but if they set up another one, that's even going to be uh, very hard for us to keep up. So we have to hurry up. We have to hurry up with this uh, <laughs> this matchup. Because if we don't, they're just going to slowly uh, knock out our Pokemon in the bench. And even with a Mew, actually. Even if we have Mew, they can hit our bench. Uh, because... Um, it's it's hitting for damage counter. It's not a damage. So if they can set up like two Inteleons within two turns, they can knock out Mew and just start attacking with the Decidueye. Hit for 90 each turn and then 24 uh, two of our benched uh, Pokemon. So it's, it it is a very interesting build, especially um, a lot of decks in the meta meta right now. The tier one decks rely on like. You know, VMAX or GX. This is a good way, you know, Decidueye is a good way to kind of counter those uh, bigger, uh, bigger opponents. But let's see what our opponent does here. They have Big Parasol. Oh, you know what? That's going to be a problem because um, Big Parasol prevents all effects of attack. So Weavile, Weavile's 2 hit KO will not have any effect on their Pokemon with Big Parasol. Although if they did attach that on Decidueye, the effects will not be removed. So uh, this one in the active definitely will be a goner. So we're just going to go ahead and 
retreat. Unfortunately, we have to get rid of all three energies from Weavile. Gonna go ahead and use Marnie. Disrupt their hand. We got Clara, so if they do knock out our, some of our Pokemon, we can just recover them. Coordinated Bolt, 420, but it will knock out this Decidueye, getting us one prize card. So this is definitely a tough battle for, for, for our deck build. Um, the only attack that I can probably rely on is uh, Spark Crush. Uh, that's the only thing that I'm thinking of using to get a knockout on Decidueye with one hit. However, again, it relies on RNG, so it's not a guarantee. So we have a choice here whether or not to take it slow and just use Coordinated Bolt between the two Zipstrikas. Uh, we were able to use the two-hit KO on Decidueye, so it could still work on some of them, but not the one with the big parasol. Okay. Um, they evolve into another Inteleon, but it's not the one that has the damage counter on it. They get two trainer cards for that but at least that gives me confidence that you know my bench pokemon will survive for a few turns because <laughs> if they have two of them imagine they're hitting for 40 damage each turn so our sneasel will get knocked out if they had those our zebstrika in the in the bench will get knocked out so that's two prizes off of that already fortunately for us they will pass this turn for now um, here's another choice do we take the chance with spark crush but I think let's evolve into Weavile first wait hold on let's use exciting stage not we can't forget that we get a quick ball and I'm just gonna spark crush nice that's actually <laughs> okay we get three 540 damage because of its weakness. All right, cool. We actually only needed one heads to knock out that Inteleon, but we got three, which is awesome. Um, not complaining. I, I hope we can get the same uh, amount of coin flip against this Decidueye. Uh, although this Zipstrika in our active will not survive, it's gonna hit for 90. And I think that's the only way we can actually knock out this Decidueye, because Weavile can't use its two hit KO it has our opponent's active has big parasol which prevents uh, effects of attacks and the only way we can knock out this decidueye it really is with the strikers attack we are at the brink of being knocked out though um, good thing that we were able to knock out that Inteleon so it's not gonna do any chip damage so our other Zipstrika in the bench will be able to survive one uh, bench damage from this Decidueye. And we, we have a chance to knock out this Decidueye with Spark Crush. And I, I'm relying on that because right now uh, our Weavile can't attack. And we will need to set up another Zipstrika. I'm just going to put... Snorlax in the active for now. We can just switch it out with Bird Keeper anyways. I'm gonna risk it and get rid of the other Galar Mines so that we can get our Blitzel so that we can set up another Zip Striker. I'm just gonna use Exciting Stage here. We get an Evolution Incense, which we don't really need. I'm gonna go ahead and use Bird Keeper. Um, we have Scroll of Skies. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use Spark Crush. Come on, one. Yes! Three! <laughs> All right! 270! Let's go! <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I had to take a risk. You know what? This is actually a losing battle for us if we didn't get any of those heads from our coin flip. They can knock out Zubstrika. We won't have. We have another Zubstrika, but it'll be just we're basically a few step closer to being defeated by this Decidueye Inteleon deck. It truly is a 
a contender. Uh, if it can go against VMAX and GX Pokemon, hey, our one prizers may not stand a chance against this Decidueye, especially with that big parasol, but uh, we're gonna do our best. We just need one more prize card. We're gonna go ahead and put Blitzel in the active, evolve into Zebstrika, put an energy on Weavile. I'm gonna use Clara. I'm gonna do both. We can get another line of, we can get Mew actually. Um, we can get Blitzel. And should I get Mew? I think I'm just gonna go for the Zebstrika and get two energies. Anyways, once we hit this uh, Decidueye, we can just knock it out on our next turn for another Coordinated Bolt. So for now, I'm gonna attack with Coordinated Bolt for 120. If they can't escape here, we win this match. So we actually have a few options here. We can evolve our bench into Zebstrika, put an energy on it, hit for Coordinated Bolt, knocking out this Decidueye, although the one in our active can just use Coordinated Bolt for 30 and still knock out the one in the active. Um, and we have Weavile, it has Scroll of Skies. We just need to attach one more energy onto Weavile. And our opponent has two energies, and that's gonna be 510, 110. Weavile will be hitting for 110 damage. And they're just gonna boss our other Weavile so that they can get an extra prize card, but we have three attackers to be able to knock out this Decidueye. Just gonna go ahead and promote Weavile. We can probably showcase the Scroll of Skies. And our opponent's just gonna scoop. All right, that was a pretty good game, man. Good game. All right, we win another coin flip. I really like it when I win the coin flip because I, I like uh, being able to go first. Uh, Mew is the only one that can go into the active in our hand right now. Uh, we don't have any other um, basic and we are up against the purple deck. Uh, Bird Keeper we can't use unless we have another basic Pokemon. Yes. Oh, we got a Sneasel. And they're using Mew. We can use Scroll of Skies, attach it on Sneasel, attach the Rapid Strike energy. And we can even start attacking. Uh, the great thing about the Scroll of Skies is that you don't have to evolve into anything. All right, so they're using Wo Woobat. <laughs> That's an interesting card. So Woobat hits for bench damage, but you have to have no cards in your hand to use it. Interesting. Um, yeah, Scroll of Skies. You don't need to evolve into any stage. You could just be any Pokemon. Like Sneasel can start using that attack for just two energies. Very strong attack. As long as you're a Rapid Strike Pokemon, you can use that attack, which is really cool. Um, wow, they were able to empty that out their hand that quickly. 60 damage against Mew, knocking out, and they get one prize card for it. And they also have Old Cemetery gonna go ahead and use hammers here and I'm gonna use Clara to get our Mew back into our hand and we're just gonna protect our bench by using that uh, let's go ahead and oh man I was hoping to disarm them cut down nice <laughs> so uh, <laughs> that's basically three hammers right there so Sneasel actually is actually um, has a really good attack too um, it's attack cut down can disarm your uh, opponent's active it's basically if you you do flip a coin if you get heads you can di um, discard one energy attached to your opponent uh, opponent's active so uh, with bird keeper we drew into more cards which is good we got blitzel got pokemon communication let's go get ahead go ahead and use weavile we can even bump out their old cemetery we can get lightning energy and start attacking with uh, Weavile. Although, you know, their Pokemon doesn't have any energy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and attach it to Blitzel, actually. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch into Weavile, and I'm gonna two hit KO.
and Blitzo can attack for 10 damage, so the 2 hit KO will still take effect. As long as we damage this um, Wubat, we'll be good. All we have to do is retreat though. Oh no, you know what? We can actually use Weavile to attack this uh, Wubat to knock it out. Although we need a Lightning Energy to use the... Um, to use the Sky Scroll, Scroll of Skies attack. We still need a Lightning Energy to use it. Because the Rapid Strike Energy is only water and fighting. Combination of any, uh, any combination of water and fighting. Two, two of any combination. They're also using Fion. They're gonna push our Weavile back and I think I can Probably switch into Blitzel. Right? Yeah, either way, we're gonna be able to attack this turn. I mean, they can retreat Wubat. Yeah, okay. And they're gonna be able to attack. 430. Yeah, they were able to knock out Mew because Mew is weak against uh, Purple, but we're gonna be okay. So let's just attach that. We will survive with 10 HP. Alright, um, ooh, we get Evolution Incense. Let's go ahead and get Substrika. And we can use Coordinated Bolt here because we used uh, Weavile's attack. I'm gonna go ahead and disarm them. Nice, we get Heads. Coordinated Bolt, 420. Oh, it's weak against Lightning. Okay, 240 damage. And we get a Professor's Research off of that prize card, which is awesome. That's going to draw us into more cards. You know what? My hat's off to our opponent because uh, not a lot of players um, have guts to, to use um, deck builds like that, you know? We, we have a hopper hand because we do hit for a lot more than their Wubat, but man, the fact that they're using Wubat, <laughs> it's, it's amazing. So, you know what? My hat's off to our opponent, man. Very clever uh, deck. Um, they, they're they using uh, Peony to empty out their hand. Yeah. So I saw that in their mulligan earlier. And that's actually a good idea, man. So use Peony. Uh, get trainer cards. Probably add item cards, which is the best uh, thing to use. You can even get energy retrieval or something like that. Um, so that you can energize your Wubat. Um, scoop up net. Okay, they're going to scoop up net that guy. So I guess, I mean, without energy, they can't really attack. And they're just going to pass. All right. Um, exciting stage before we do anything else. Get another lightning energy. I um, think this is the best time to put an energy on Weavile. We can attack with Weavile now get a Snorlax. I think it's okay to play that. We have two Quick Balls. I can get rid of one. Get another Blitzel. And I'm just gonna Spark Crush. But we get Tails. Yeah, if we use Coordinated Bolt, it's um, only gonna hit for 30, so it really won't matter. But at least we started off the chain um, by using an attack with a rapid strike. So if we do get an evolution on a Zipstrika, we can switch into Blitzel, possibly evolve it in Zipstrika. And we'll be, hit we'll be hitting for 120 damage. There's another, another Wubat. That's an interesting uh, build that they're using. Uh, maybe I can uh, borrow their... Um, Oh, they also have a Dragapult V in their deck. Aha! Uh -huh. So they're sur it's like a surprise attack. They'll use Wubat to uh, soften up their opponent and bring in the big guns once they're weak. I'm going to go ahead and use Marnie. It's fine. You can give them more cards. Actually, it's great um, against Wubat because now they have to figure out and em uh, how to empty their hands. So I'm going to go ahead and just use Spark Rush. Sweet. We only needed one coin flip to hit for 90, but uh, that was enough to knock out their Zigzagoon. 
for a prize card. Nice. So we again set off the chain for Zibstrika. All we have to do is, um, I mean, if we need to switch out, but right now Galar Mine is also affecting our retreat cost. So Spark Rush might be uh, the option to do it. Anyways, Wubat won't be able to do much damage. And they can't attack unless they empty out their hands. So we're, we're, we're pretty safe as of right now. Uh, I'm, I'm mostly worried about their Dragapult VMAX though. Uh, Dragapult VMAX can hit for 130 which can knock out a majority of our Pokemon. And it's gonna hit for bench, um, not bench damage, but it's gonna be able to deal five damage counters on a lot of our Pokemon. And that can build up, man. Within like two or three turns, he can get three prizes at the, in, in one turn with a single attack. So that's definitely what we gotta watch out for. Uh, we already took two prizes. And they're gonna reset stamp us so four might seem like not that much but it can go you know our opponent can get a lot of price cards in just a few turns so we really gotta watch out for that we do get a bird keeper though we can use our other blitzel to to attack knocking out this uh woobat so i think that's what i'm gonna do and that will draw us into more cards you know, I'm just going to use Coordinated Bolt against this Wubat, getting us another prize card. Okay. I see. So, yeah, they were, they're were they using an EXP share. So it prompts uh, our opponent to get an energy from Wubat and transfer it to Dragapult V Max or Dragapult V. As of right now though we're safe. We they don't have a V Max yet, so um Dragapult will hit for as little as how much uh, damage does Dragapult V do? Woo bad with telescopic sight. That's that it's man. I really like their build. You know, mix mix Dragapult V V Max with Wubat. That's actually not a bad idea. There's the Peony Evolution Incense. Perfect. You're probably gonna get their Dragapult V Max, and they're gonna start um, knocking out our Pokemon. Uh, so they can knock out both of our Zib Strike us in one hit. Max Phantom, 130 knocking out our active, and all they need is. Three damage counters on our bench Zebstrika. And they're gonna spread the other uh, two damage counters between Mew and Cricketune V. And Mew will get knocked out in the next turn. So with this Weavile, um, this is our only chance. Um, what I'm thinking is use Quick Ball and we still have two lightning energies <laughs> we really need that energy um and i'm just gonna keep blitzel in the bench or in the uh, in our hand i'm gonna two hit ko this dragapult v max hopefully they won't be able to retreat okay weavile goes back into the bench because of fion fion and I think I'm gonna switch into Cricketune V because they won't be able to knock out Cricketune V. They can knock out Mew with a five damage counter, but at least we'll be safe. We have to win in the next turn if they attach an energy on this Dragapult V Max and retreat. I mean, they'll lose all of their energy, but still, um, yeah, Weavile can attack. Even if we just switch into Weavile, we can attack. Even if they Marnie us or something. All we need to do is attack with Weavile. And we can knock out this Dragapult VMAX. Yeah, because it's attack. Um, it doesn't say... Not like Blitzel. Uh, not like Zebstrika. That you have to attack with a different 
Rapid Strike Pokemon. With Weavile, it, it can be the same Weavile. Oh no, they have a switch though. Oh dude, that's not right. Um, let's go ahead and use Crown Hammer. Nice. <laughs> let's let's disarm this uh, Dragapult V Max. And what I'm thinking is switch into Weavile. Uh, we can use Boss to get this Dragapult V Max back into the active. And I don't. I mean, I mean, there's a slight chance that they can get this uh, Dragapult V Max back into their bench but i'm gonna go ahead and try to hit ko again hopefully they 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 can't uh retreat back with it uh with two energies they can't retreat back with it so we should be fine unless they have a switch then it's gonna be uh it's gonna be bad for us um so we have two options we can either switch into blitzel to attack or just attack with weavile to knock out this dragapult v max You're gonna use Quick Ball, and th th I think they're thinning out their hand. Did they use Cricket Tune V um, already? I didn't even see. Okay, they have Peony though. Oh, they could get a switch. If they have another switch, that's I don't know what else to do to win. Because uh, there's no way for us to knock out three Pokemon. They have a scoop up net and a boss's order. But there's no way for us to get three prizes. And they're just going to max Phantom on this Weavile. Unfortunately, we couldn't attack with it. Uh, so it's down to our Blitzel. And they didn't even knock out our Mew. Um, but that's fine. All we need is an energy. Oh, <laughs> well played. I don't know what that means. Uh, okay. Well, all we need to do is, an atta is attack, but our opponent doesn't know we don't have an energy. I'm just going to go ahead and use Pokemon Communication to get another br another Blitzel. I'm, I'm just thinning out the deck as much as we can. Uh, Evolution Incense. Exciting stage to put it in our hand. More cards in our hand. We got Professor's Research. We better get an energy off of this. <laughs> there it is let's go put it on zip striker coordinated bolt for 120 knocking out this dragapult v max good game good game <laughs> weavile and zip striker make a really good combo these are awesome single price cards that can use attacks for as little as one colorless energy from the games I've played with this build, i found that Zeb Strika to another Zeb Strika combo can be really good against the one prizer matchups. And Weavile's 2 hit KO works well when your opponent uses 2 or 3 prizers. Even if your Weavile gets knocked out, the prize exchange will still be in your favor because your opponent will be giving up more prizes. Weavile is good with Zeb Strika since Zeb Strika's attack are still pretty low. But Weavile can make it easier for us to easily knock out even bulkier Pokemon. So in reality, you probably will not use Weavile as much when you're up against one prizer decks. Overall, I think this Weavile Zip Striker combo is great. And that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay safe and have a great day.